In this example, we are given the universal set as well as sets A and B and asked to determine the complement of the union of A and B as well as A complement intersect B complement. And then we're asked to find the complement of the intersection of A and B and A complement union B complement. Let's begin by determining the complement of the union of A and B. This is a set containing the elements that are not in the union of A and B. Well, let's first determine A union B, and then we'll use that set to determine the complement of the union of A and B. So A union B is the set containing the elements that are in A or in B. So analyzing set A and set B, A union B is the set containing the elements two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The elements two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are in set A or set B. And therefore the complement of the union of A and B would be the elements in the universal set that are not in this union, which notice only leaves the elements of one and 10. The complement of the union of A and B is the set containing one and 10. And that's work on determining A complement intersect B complement. This is a set containing the elements that are not in A and not in B. To help us determine this intersection, let's determine A complement and B complement. A complement is a set containing the elements that are not in set A, but in the universal set, Notice the set A contains the elements two, three, four, five, six, seven. Comparing this to the universal set, the complement of A or not A is the set containing the elements one, eight, nine, ten. And now it's determined B complement, which would be the set of elements that are not in B, but in the universal set. Notice that B contains the elements of five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, comparing this to the universal set, not B or B complement is the set containing the elements of one, two, three, four, ten. Now that we have A complement and B complement, we can determine the intersection of these two sets by determining which elements are in A complement and B complement, which notice are the elements of one and ten, which indicates a complement intersect B complement is the set containing the elements of one and 10. So notice how we get the same result for the complement of the union of A and B and A complement intersect B complement. And we'll talk more about this in just a moment. Looking at our second example, let's go ahead and determine the complement of the intersection of A and B. This is the set containing the elements that are not in the intersection of A and B. To help us do this, let's determine A intersect B, which is the set containing the elements that are in A and in B. So analyzing sets A and B, notice the elements of five, six, and seven are in set A and set B. A intersect B is equal to the set containing the elements five, six, and seven. And therefore, the complement of the intersection of A and B is the set containing the elements that are not in A intersect B, but in the universal set. So comparing A intersect B to the universal set, notice the elements not in the intersection are the elements of one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten which indicates the complement of the intersection of A and B is the set containing the elements one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. And now let's find A complement union B complement. This is the set containing the elements that are not in A or not in B. And since we have A complement and B complement 
here in the lower left hand corner we can see the elements that are in a complement or b complement are the elements one two three four eight nine ten the elements one two three four eight nine ten are in a complement or in b complement and notice we get the same result for the complement of the intersection of A and B, as well as A complement union B complement. So these two examples are examples of De Morgan's laws, where De Morgan's first law states the complement of the union of A and B is equal to A complement intersect B complement, and De Morgan's second law states the complement of the intersection of A and B equals A complement union B complement. I hope you found this helpful.